Hello everybody, Trunks here and welcome back to a different video, a video that I'm putting more effort into any other video I've ever done. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and let's get on into this. Minecraft is one of the best selling video games of all time with sales of over 100 million units worldwide combined across all platforms. Development started in May. 2009, and the first pre-release version went on sale on June 13th, 2009. The official release of the game was on November 18th, 2011, following the alpha and beta periods. Minecraft has changed a lot since its early days, with dozens of updates over the years. Some of them have been more significant than others, and here is a list of five Minecraft updates I feel changed the game for the better. The first update on our list is Beta 1.8, better known as the Adventure Update. This update added in biomes, as well as villages, strongholds, abandoned mine shafts, ravines, and a whole lot more. This was the first update I remember a whole lot of people discussing it for hours, how they felt about the changes, which ones, some of the changes they liked, some of the ones they didn't like. And while the most controversial change was definitely adding in the hunger system, because before this update, eating food replenish your heart directly instead of your hunger bar, which, well, the hunger bar, some people still don't, not the biggest fan of the fact that you have to eat, constantly be eating food, like, this is not quite realistic, but most people, I'd say, have gotten adjusted to it and are kind of used to it, and if you were to take that away, you'd be like, well, something is missing, but anyway, some of the other changes in the update include the ability to hold to charge balls before you press the button, I think it will automatically fire. You can do critical hits. You can parry with the sword by holding the right mouse button. Basic equipment, I believe that's to, to blocking. Um, and sprinting by double tapping W, which again, later on, you press control to be able to add sprint. The second update on our list is redstone. While I've never been good with redstone, which is definitely an understatement, um, it did lead some people to creating some amazing things and creations and the update added in several items used in nearly every adventure map since it came out including redstone blocks of redstone redstone comparators daylight sensors droppers act activator rails hoppers trap chests nether bricks quartz and much more continuing on from redstone are command blocks command blocks have led people to create some amazing adventure maps and one command block creations like the batman in minecraft one i reviewed earlier this year the most I've ever been able to do with command blocks, personally, is the teleport command on Trunkscraft to make it easy for people to teleport from one area to another in the survival world. And also, the crying Waglington statue in the Minite Temple from a couple years ago. Command blocks were added in Minecraft 1.4.2. They originally had a character limit of just 256, however, that has been increased to over 32,000. The chain command block and repeating command block were added in 1.9. Now we come to an update. I've used more than any other by far, creative mode. It turned Minecraft and what I like to call virtual Legos. I use creative mode along with help from World Edit to help build the Mega Mine Eye Temple along with dozens of other smaller builds over the years. Now a separate Creative mode was added in beta 1.8 and it made it much easier for people to build structures and create adventure maps. However, cheats were added to 1.3.1 to allow people to easily switch between survival and creative mode without the use of mods or editors. The next update I feel changed Minecraft for the better is also the oldest one on this list, which is the Nether. The Halloween update came out on October 30th, 2020. 10, in Alpha 1.2.0. It was the first new dimension added to the game that I am aware of and includes the hell world known as the Nether. The update added gas, zombie penguin, netherrack, soul sand, glowstone, and the nether portal. Nether fortresses were added later on in release version 1.0.0 along with magma cubes and blazes. And that concludes my list of five Minecraft updates I feel changed the game for the better. Are there any updates you think that I left out in this list? Leave a comment down below and let me know what they are. I'm interested in discussing this further. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And if this video does well enough, I plan on turning this into a weekly series where we discuss different Minecraft topics together. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you all next time. Bye, guys.